What's going on, everybody? It's Dillsworth. I got a quick one for you today. Um, I've kind of hit a wall with Street Fighter V ranked. I made it to Platinum, but now kind of kind of running into a bunch of stuff that's not the most conventional things, and the, the mental stack's kind of overloaded in these matchups. Uh, and, and, you know, just because of life, not being able to play every day, it's made it hard to remember matchup details. And this is made worse by the cast being 41 characters now, and I didn't start until season 4 actually playing this game in the morning. So, to combat this, I've started to go through the frame data on the Capcom site and pick out moves that are punishable uh, for each opposing character. And I've been putting them into a spreadsheet. And in the spreadsheet, I'm labeling the moves with common names, like you see here, just crouching heavy punch. These are the target combos, like Tatsu Super, this is for Ken, and at the bottom you see I have the characters listed, and they're all tabs by name, I only have seven so far, this is going to be a big project, but, so under each character I have the move name, like I explained, explained the, uh, the frame disadvantage, so that I can, that mind, it'll help me remember the punish. And then, either the punish start, or in, in other, under other characters, I have full, pu uh, full punish routes, like I did it for these characters, so that I can, at glance, look and go, okay, against Chun, against any of her legs, I can do this combo. And that's going to make it real easy to deal with a uh, Chun-Li that's just throwing legs and trying to pressure with legs. So... And in the future, I also plan on putting in, you know, common whiff, uh, common moves that are a bit slower. They could be whiff punished, either with Lucia's standing heavy punch or a sweep, or maybe even her crouching medium kick. Those are all options that can sometimes whiff punish, but not always. So, and having those listed in here would be good too to go. All right. This is a matchup I'm going to have to whiff punish a bunch in, so I need to look out for these moves so that I can actually try to whiff punish. And then, also at some point, you know, maybe putting general strategy notes like, for instance, against Ken, you know, if the if Ken's, uh, you first you're going to have to feel the Ken out. Are they going to play crazy? Are they going to be super offensive? Or are they going to turtle? What do you have to do to deal with those strategies that the Ken's using? Like, if he's turtling, you're going to have to fight his fireballs with fireballs and force him to be the aggressor. Or if Ken's being super aggressive, you're going to want to try to pump the brakes and make him play at your pace. For aggressive players, this makes them really uncomfortable. So I, I think my biggest weakness at this point in Street Fighter V is my lack of matchup knowledge and knowing what I can punish and w with what and everything to that effect. Not so much strategies or broad concepts. So rather than having to memorize all of that, putting that putting it in a in a sheet like this that is not only available on my computer but is also available on my phone for me to easier look up and navigate if I'm, you know, playing on PC, rather than having to exit the game and go open it up, it's gonna be really helpful. So I'm that's about all that I have to cover with this. If anyone else out there does this or has any other thoughts or is interested in talking about what my thought process is on putting this together, go ahead and leave a comment below. Otherwise, you know, like this video. It helps people see it. Subscribe because I'm trying to put out content and, you know, help help the middle, the guys in the middle climb a little closer to the top, especially if they're playing Lucia. Uh, <laughs> Other than that, you know, I hope everyone takes care and have a great day.